fond farewells for Demetris Christofias, President of Cyprus, marking the end of his country's six-month presidency of the EU. There were warm words, too, on the floor, with Cyprus, a country of just 800,000, which joined the EU in 2004, praised for the handling of its first presidency in the depths of Europe's crisis. But scratched the surface and misgivings emerged, particularly over the way Cyprus has managed its financial crisis and the unresolved territorial dispute with Turkish Cypriot Northern Cyprus. Op Europees niveau is goede voortgang geboekt, maar thuis in Cyprus bleek de regering niet in staat de crisis in eigen land te beheersen. Ik moest allerdings aan deze stelle ook weer betonen dat ik jedes maal bij mijn bezoeken geschokt was über die aktuelle Situation der Insel, die Spaltung. For his part, Mr. Christofias, the EU's first and only communist head of state, used the occasion to grind his vision for Europe. We can't decide to vote in the European Council of the Union to make sure that we can make sure that the European Union 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 can make sure από τυχεμένες συνταγές της μονόπλευρης και αυστηρής λιτότητας που οδηγεί εκατομμύρια Ευρωπαίους πολίτες στη φτώχεια, την ανέχεια και τον κοινωνικό αποκλεισμό. It prompted sparring from some MEPs, recalling the days of the President's study tour in Moscow. Mr. President, большое спасибо, все вы хорошо выживете. You, your government and your official did very well. Unanimity emerged over Cyprus's achievements, a European unitary patent and the 2012-2013 budgets, and laying the groundwork for a common asylum system, for the EU's long-term budget and the first stage of banking union. It's up to Ireland now, as president, to complete the unfinished business.